Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Boy, is it a scorcher today in Los Angeles. I can't begin to explain it. I have a little story to tell you about the outlaws. The outlaws I've been talking about for a while now. And some money that they came into. And it goes like this. Far, far away, far away from California, some folks came up with some money. And they said to themselves, We'll just give it to the Mafia, and the Mafia will know how to handle it, and we can trust the Mafia. So they gave it to a guy who gave it to the Mafia, and the Mafia, these are the outlaws I was telling you about, they got the money and they disappeared. Completely. Isn't that amazing? All of them disappeared. So, I was just wondering what happened to them. So, I came up with some stories for you, just for the fun of it, and it goes like this. One of the outlaws decided to go to Key West, and there he was sitting in the sun in front of a pool, and an alligator walked up and ate him. Except for his credit card, which fell out on the grass. And a little child came up, and found the credit card and gave it to his father. And his father threw it in the trash, and the trash was picked up by a trash compactor, which crushed it. So, another guy decided to go to the South Pacific. He was sitting on a little island there, drinking a Mai Tai, and um, then he thought he'd go for a swim. And so while he was out swimming, a big wave came up and washed him onto an atoll. And there was no way for him to get off it just then. So he, he lay down on the atoll. He had nothing to eat but polyps. So he ate polyps for a little while. And then he got indigestion, and then he got gas, he didn't feel so good. And then he noticed where his back was lying down on the atoll that there was poisonous polyps there and that they made little welts on his skin. Then he didn't know what to do because his, his tummy hurt and his back hurt and he couldn't swim all the way back to the island. So he waited and the high tide came in and it gently wafted him off of the atoll and on back to the island where his back still hurt. So he lay there wishing he were back in the wild west and knowing he couldn't go back there. And finally, as he lay there in the shade, finally day after day, he felt better. Another guy, he was a pretty bright guy, he decided to go into finance with his haul, share of the haul, his share of the loot, and he decided to invest in the dollar. And time went by, a few months went by, and something happened to the, to the dollar in, in, in his area where he was, and the dollar was destabilized, and he lost all but 2% of the money that he had, which he turned into seeds and he built a vegetable garden at least he had something to live on so then there was a lady who got part of the hall and she was pretty good looking so she decided to go to a health resort and tone herself up and eat good food and that kind of thing and just have a wonderful time of it but while she was there the covid scare hit and people were dying here and there so she thought she'd take her stuff and go on out and camp in a forest. And there she was in the forest. Then a wildfire went through and a heat wave went through and it was no longer possible to live in the forest. So she went back to the health resort and the COVID scare was over and she decided to stay there. One of the gentlemen who stole the dough, one of the folks in the mafia, 
decided to take his money and go and become a devotee of of a saint known for her for her wonderful big heart but very f soon she found out that he had my in mind to suffocate her while she lay asleep and take over the long list of her devotees for his own profit and she made him leave her well after he left he felt real sad because the love that he had hoped for was missing so he went for a float down the Rio Grande and he ended up in the wash bowl and his raft overturned and there he was sitting on the shore and his raft went on down without him well he was lonely there on the shore of the wild and woolly Rio Grande and he was hoping for a companion and along came a, a girl goat a wild goat of the sort that frequent that region and he made friends with her and he found in in the love of that goat the love that no one else had ever given him I have sad news to relate as well when the members of the mafia who grabbed the money decided to go on their long vacations each of them killed their current wife and said that the reason for that repeated act was that their wives knew a little too much and they couldn't take them with them. That was a pretty sad story. For the people that originally lost the money, they were pretty glum and they didn't know what to do. So finally they figured they couldn't afford their lifestyle and they all went to work for McDonald's and Carl's Jr's and places like that where they made the minimum wage which was good for the sanity to know that you'd be getting your paycheck every week that was cool but it wasn't much of a paycheck so they rented an efficiency apartment and put down pallets on the floor where each one could sleep in the, in the main room there which was good because it allowed them to work on their interpersonal skills and they became very close-knit as a group of people it seems that some other folks were involved who were members of the Knights Templar and the church took a dim view of all of that because in ancient times uh, there was a problem with satanic worship and and carryings on and and the Knights Templar were excommunicated from the faith so history repeated itself and Everybody under the aegis of that church was excommunicated. And some of the people involved were Jesuits, which made the Pope look bad. Well, the bad press involved made the popularity of the church go down in the eyes of the world to the exact extent that the new movies about the papacy had caused that popularity to raise. Everything evened out in the long run and the church went on, thank God, after a minor correction. And that's what happens when a person tells stories on a day when there's a giant heat wave.